Namaste students, welcome to our EBS class. In today's class, we are going to learn the third lesson of reduced garbage. In the previous classes, we learned about sort sorting garbage. Today, we are going to learn treating garbage. Okay, so the garbage that we throw away, before throwing, we sort them into harmful and non-harmful and throw in green bin or red bin. What happens to the garbage? after it is thrown and after it is collected by the garbage van or garbage truck what happens to that garbage which is collected from her house that is what we are going to learn today on the screen you can see the picture here this is called as garbage treatment plant here the garbage is treated uh, differently and new things are made from this right let's move on and learn more We already know about harmful and non-harmful garbage. Today, we will learn about the journey of garbage from home to landfill. Okay, the garbage, what happens to the garbage which is collected from our home till it reaches the landfill, we will observe. The keywords which we are going to learn are garbage treatment plants. What are those? A factory where garbage is sorted and recycled. Garbage treatment plants. Landfill, a place where garbage is dumped. Compost, a thing that is made from plant and animal waste and helps plants grow. Now, look at the items that we throw away. Which ones will be useful if we bury them in soil? How? So in this picture you can see this, this is the waste from our kitchen. The vegetable peels, the fruit peels. Okay, here we have this paper glasses and we have the plastic bottles. So which of these three items will become useful if we bury them in soil? Okay, the first thing, the vegetable peels and fruit peels, if we bury them in soil, they'll mix up with soil and compost is made, which is very good for the plants. So, vegetable peels and fruit peels can be buried in the soil. Right? Let's move on. So, we can make compost by burying the vegetable peel and eggshells in the soil. Okay, eggshells, vegetable peels. What happens to that when we bury in them in the soil? This will help plants grow. Plastic and metals that are not broken down will remain in the soil for years. Okay, plastic and metals will remain in the soil for years. They will harm the soil and water. What happens to the garbage after we throw it away separately? into the two garbage bins who collects it what happens after that let's learn so this is your content book and we'll read the lesson from the content book all of you please open your content book and here we have uh, lesson 3 treating garbage harmful and non-harmful garbage need to be treated separately before they are dumped okay so first they have to be treated separately before they are dumped what happens next? Garbage trucks collect the garbage and take it to garbage treatment plants. Non-harmful garbage is used for making compost. Okay, So the vegetable uh, waste or the animal waste, fruit peels, all of them will be buried in the soil and compost is made. What is compost? Compost adds energy to the plants. Okay. Uh, plants grow well with the help of compost. Compost help the plants to grow. Okay, here garbage is sorted manually and with machines. New things are made from the garbage. Okay, plastic, metal, glass. Okay, they are treated separately and new things are made from them. So, after everything is done, some leftover garbage will be there. Okay, vegetable green waste like vegetable 
peels fruit peels animal waste all that compost is made and with glass metal and plastic separate they, they are recycled and new things are made what happens to the leftover garbage the leftover garbage is dumped into landfills after treatment right so words to learn garbage treatment plants what are they plants where waste is made less harmful okay these are the places plants are not here the plants doesn't mean that leaves and roots plants are the places where the garbage is made less harmful what is compost something made from plant and animal waste that helps plants to grow landfill an area where large amounts of waste is dumped what is a landfill that is a place okay an area where large amounts of waste is dumped now practice questions first question fill in the blanks we should dash garbage before dash it okay we should sort s o r t sort garbage before throwing it t h r o w i n g second question why do we need to treat garbage before dumping it we need to treat garbage before dumping it so that they can be treated uh, differently and new things are made from them okay garbage should be treated before dumping so that new things you know, can be made from them third question how will treating garbage before dumping it help our surroundings okay if we throw the garbage okay harmful harmless if we throw around them they'll become a waste right and the harmful garbage will pollute the land air and water so we need to treat the garbage before dumping them right so third question did you understand once again how will treating garbage before dumping it help our surroundings okay if we treat the garbage new things can be made you which are useful if we don't treat the garbage okay they pollute the surroundings which is harmful for uh, not only for us but also for animals and plants okay so let's move on and learn more let us watch this video let's look at the journey of the garbage after it is collected by the garbage truck the harmful waste like metal glass and plastic materials are sorted and sent to factories to make new things from them the non-harmful garbage is used to make the compost that is used in the fields the leftover garbage is dumped in the landfill Where is the garbage taken after the garbage truck picks it from our homes? Okay, after the garbage truck picks the garbage from our house, where is it taken? Let's. The garbage is taken to the garbage treatment plant. Okay, from our house. Okay, when the garbage is collected in the truck, the truck will take the garbage to the garbage treatment plant. what are the steps by which garbage gets treated let the garbage truck collects garbage from our homes and takes it to the garbage treatment plant that is the first thing second then compost is made from the garbage that has been sorted into the green garbage bin the items sorted from the harmful pile glass metal and plastic are taken to factories where new things are made from them okay first from our house the garbage truck comes and collects the garbage and takes it to garbage treatment plant then compost is made from the waste from the green bin okay green garbage bin then what happens the items are sorted from the harmful pile harmful is there na glass metal plastic they are sorted okay glass metal and plastic are taken to factories where new things are made from them the leftover garbage is dumped in a place called a landfill 
right so here we can see the picture of a garbage treatment plant this place is called as garbage treatment plant where the garbage is separated into plastic items separately glass items separately and metal items separately right why do we need to sort things like glass metal and plastic in a garbage treatment plant they need to be sorted first because they are treated differently then new things are made from them okay, okay. now all of you open your worksheet put today's date read read the questions 15.3 treating garbage question 1 tick what we can do with vegetable or fruit peel okay after after cutting the vegetables we get the vegetable peel after eating the fruits okay we have the fruit peel what can we do with that a we can eat all of it b we can make compost from it c we can feed it to animals okay you can tick b and c okay b and c okay with vegetable and fruit peels compost can be made which is good for plants growth or you can feed it to animals right second question fill in the blanks to write what happens after garbage is collected from our home okay here there are some boxes which are empty so you have to write there what is the next step okay a garbage is collected by garbage trucks b okay the garbage is treated differently c compost is made from non harmful things d okay uh, new things are made from uh things like metal glass and plastic e the things that are left over are dumped into the landfills okay shall i re read it once again step 1 a garbage is collected by garbage trucks b the garbage is treated okay the garbage is taken to the garbage treatment plant okay please correct it this is the correct one B one is garbage is taken to the garbage treatment plant. C compost is made from non harmful things. D uh, new things are made from the metal, glass, and plastic items. E the things that are left over are dumped into the landfill. Okay, don't forget to write the landfill in box E. Then question three: What will happen if the garbage truck doesn't come regularly? what will happen you tell me even to your house also garbage truck comes right hmm? he will come and shout at amma chetta he will be shouting right so uh, you'll come out of the house and you'll throw the garbage into the you'll give the garbage to the garbage man he will throw it into the truck right so what will happen if the garbage truck doesn't come regularly if the garbage truck doesn't come regularly then the garbage will be collected in our house and it will stink stink means it will smell it will give out a bad smell okay and germs will start grow there right so question 3 once again i will read what will happen if the garbage truck doesn't come regularly if the garbage truck doesn't come regularly then the garbage will get collected in our house and it will stink it will give out a bad smell and germs might start growing there right so we have already answered the questions from the content book we have read the lesson we have completed the workbook and do read the lesson once again and underline new words thank you have a good day bye bye